everybody, it's Brian. Welcome to the 27th Flutter tutorial. Today we'll be going over the alert dialog. This is part of the material design widgets. And like the snack bar that we covered in the previous tutorial, I'm covering it now so that if I use it in future tutorials, you understand what's going on. So there's really no black magic or voodoo magic or whatever going on here. Should be noted, there are other types of alerts such as the bottom sheet and the simple dialog and the expansion panel that we aren't going to cover until future tutorials. I just wanted to focus on these two for now. So let's go ahead and jump into a blank project here. Going to import material design. Whoops. We're going to extend the stateful widget. And I'm still, like I've said in the past few tutorials, got a cold. So I've been recording these over a few days, but um, man, this cold just will not die. We're going to create the state of this. And we're going to shove my app out is the home of the material app and then in here see I'm trying to get healthy as fast as possible because I want to go out and see the new Star Wars before uh, it leaves the theaters it's been out for a little while now all right so in here, it's going to be the same design as we had in the last tutorial where we're going to have the text, or we're going to have an app bar, we're going to have a text box, and then we're going to have a button here. So let's go ahead and kill that existing demo. And let's go ahead and type all this out. Oops. Plus sign. Boy, that's an interesting operator. There we go. Build context. All right, so we're just going to build that bad boy out here. And we need to actually build our user interface. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to say, I'm going to return new scaffold. We're going to say alert dialog demo and then the body don't know why I did that there we go new container just in case somebody downloads this code and they want to add some padding I'm not going to really worry about padding myself but uh, center everything up Then we've got our widget array here. We're going to say new text field. The new raised button. And let's go ahead and save this. Missing concrete implement. Missing concrete implementation of state for widget create state. Oh, create start. Derp. All right, let's go ahead and build this, run it out, make sure this thing actually runs on the device. Kratos resolving dependencies, and we're going to push it out here. And just give it a minute, it should appear on the device. There we go. So we've got our text field that we can type into, and we've got a button that we need to put some text here. And when we click this, a little alert dialog will pop up here, and we can play with that. All right, so let's 
Branch this out here. We're going to set the state here. So we need to hold that variable in memory. I should say we need to change that variable that's in memory as part of the state. And we're going to use this on change right here. pump that variable over to our on change function. All right, so let's actually All right, so what we've got so far is basically when the text field is changing we're going to take the value and pump that through the set state into our text variable here. Now we want to actually show the alert when they click the button. And we're going to use the text variable for that. Now in here, what we need to do is we need to create an alert dialog, but we don't want to show one if it's empty. So we're going to say if value dot is empty, then we're just going to return out. Alert dialog, dialog equal new, alert dialog. And you'll get so used to doing that throughout your little career here as a programmer. All right, so the content of the alert dialog, we want to say new, text and in here we want to say the value and then we want to set a style here so let's say style new text style and we want the font size to be 30.0 that has to be a double it cannot be an integer um, so if you do that it's going to freak out on you All right, so we've got that in there. Now we need to say actions. Oops. And there is our widget array here. Um, what we're gonna do for this, and let's actually just run this just so you can see what it looks like here. Hmm, did it not run? Oh, probably help if we actually did we do that? Hmm, what is going on here? Oh, I know what we did wrong. We forgot to actually show the dialog. Derp. Not show about dialog. So we want show dialog, and the context will be the application context, and then we want the child to actually be the dialog. Save that, pump this bad boy back out to our device here, and we'll say test. And there is our alert dialog in all its glory. Now, if you're looking at these actions widgets array over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a list of options here, and then when we click that, we wanna know which option was clicked. So let's just get back out of that. And, sorry about that, somebody was texting me and it kinda threw me off a little bit here. We need to make an enum here, so we'll say enum my dialog options. Do you want to call these options or actions? Let's call them actions. My dialog action, why not? We'll say yes, no, maybe. All right, now in here, in our actions for the alert dialog, we have a list of widgets that we want to pump in here. 
So we're going to just make one widget. We'll make a flat button. Notice how it says on press and child for us. It's very convenient. And then it'll say, hmm, let's say, do, 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 do. All right, now the on press, we need to actually wire this into a function here. So let's say, whoops. We're going to take that a num and we're going to put it in here. And for this, we're just going to print this out. We're going to say print. The actual value here and then dialog result all right so let's run this back out to the device and then we have a yes and if we click it nothing happens now Actually, under the hood, if I could find my, where is it? Too many options. Took me a second to find it, but it's right here in our little Android monitor, right there. Boom. So we selected yes. So let's go ahead and click that a few more times, and you see that it's actually happening in the background here. So that was bloody confusing. I don't know what I got all hung up on there. So we're going to go back in here and we are going to make a couple of these. And to close that dialog out, we have to go navigator.pop and we want to pop to the current context. That way it's not going to leave the current screen that we're on. Let's run this again. And we'll say Do you like Flutter? We have yes, no, maybe. So let's look at our little Android monitor here. Pop this back. Where's my emulator? There you are. And if we say yes, you can see that it closes the dialog and we get this, you selected the my dialog dot action yes. And from there you could do a switch statement to determine what actually you need to do next. So pretty simple, pretty easy, um, pretty useful too. I mean, you can do a lot with this. Um, you can do yes, no, maybe. You can put other controls in there. You can put drop downs, things of that nature. Pretty awesome for a very entry level control. Well, I feel I'm losing my voice. This cold's still kicking my butt. So we're going to call this tutorial done. Um, for the source code for this and all other tutorials, visit the tutorials tab on voidrealms.com. Go out to GitHub. And if you're so inclined, go out to the Void Realms Facebook group where there is 1,700 other programmers out there. All right. Thanks for watching.